Hey everyone, and welcome to another edition of my live tea tasting. I've got a special one. First of all, before I forget, Happy New Year. Uh, this is my first stream of the year, and I'm really happy and uh, proud to bring you something different from a completely different region. Welcome, whoever showed up. It's not saying who yet, so hi. Welcome. Oh, Teresa, you're my first guest of my New Year. Uh, oh, got two other people. Great, come on in, come on in, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Uh, tonight I have a really special tea uh, for you guys. It's uh, from a region that I've never done before. Hey Ma, welcome! Uh, it's from a region that I've never done before. It's uh, a tea from Greece. I've never had Greek tea. I kept it, as you can see, it's in a vacuum sealed uh, plastic box and everything. So I have no idea what to expect. I'm gonna get this, uh, get the water started. Mickey, welcome! Shayna, welcome! Oh, I'm joking already. Okay, so uh, <laughs> I'm gonna start off with my uh, with this Greek tea. Um, now I don't know. It's it's uh, Krinos organic mountain tea. I don't know what that is, um, but it was made from a from a special uh, a special leaf. There's a longer name. Let me see if I can find it somewhere. Uh, I was reading up on this a little bit. Uh, but, 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 yeah, it doesn't say it on here. I'm gonna go to the website. It's cheating a little, I know, but I'm never gonna be able to uh, pronounce this right. Uh, so I'm gonna have to do it really slowly. Sideritis, sideritis, S I D E R I T I S. I don't know if that's, I, I, I don't know how that's pronounced, but that's that's the best I can do. Um, so it does have some medical benefits which uh, most tea does but since this is an herbal blend um, I wanted to do a little bit of research to make sure uh, so it's good for that for the digestive system it's good for lowering blood pressure I'm looking at you ma and um, it's also good for what was it there was three uh, oh and it's full of antioxidants um, so let me see it was a sedetrius is the is the genus that it is. Um, I don't know if. Well, yeah, it says that there is a wide species, but I don't know what specific one this is. Um, but without further ado, because my water is going to be finished, uh, my water is going to be finished boiling. Maria, welcome. I'm glad you could make it. I'm I'm kind of relieved. This is my resident uh, expert in everything Greek because she happens to have her lineage from there. So everybody, welcome Chali once again. Hooray! One hand clapping! Greg, what's up? So maybe you could help me, uh, help me pronounce that word. Sid, sid, you know, I'll, I'll go back here. It's, uh, Sideritis. S-I-D-E-R-I-T-I-S. Liana, welcome! If you could spell that out for me phonetically, I would be indebted to you. Because uh, <laughs> I have no idea. If that's, um, if that's, uh, what should we call it? If that's correct. Oh, I hope this thing is sealed. Oh, it is sealed. Whew. It, it, it gave way a little too much. So, <laughs> yeah, I gave myself a little mini heart attack there. But anyway, at least I opened it up on the right side. As you can see, it's really, really green herbs. Um, I'll show you because it's it's very flowery. Pam, welcome. Uh, I'm gonna pour, whoa. I'm gonna pour it out a little bit. Nestor, welcome. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. It's a very very green tea, but it looks like it's packed quite tightly. So I'm gonna just I'm gonna pull it out by hand. Oh, this is really this is really interesting. Ew, I'm gonna give myself a big chunk. I don't know. Usually it's about a um, Usually I, I put about a tea full, but this is a really really chunky uh, I'll, I'll, I'll show you yeah, cuz this is this is way too much Um, I guess this is gonna be okay. I, I'm not quite sure cuz I've never dealt with a tea like this before, um, just in texture alone. <laughs> Thanos punch. Yeah, I know it. 
this is a, it's starting off to be a very interesting uh, a very interesting tea because it's not it's well let me move this over because there's a glare behind me there we go it's, that's a bit better so it, it's not what I'm used to usually you get um, you get leaves that are that are processed and um, they've been cooked in some way or dried out this is actually a very it's like you're, you're drinking the actual flower. Like, look at that. It's like you get the buds, you get the, the leaves, the stems, everything. And you, you can't really feel it, but it's a very, it's a very, very soft plant. Like, you're, you're drinking the actual plant itself. Now, I know, uh, I don't remember if you guys recall when I was talking about the, uh, the silver needle. And uh, it's silver because you have a lot of those little white hairs. What is that? Uh, one good thing about Greek is the word is usually sounds like it how it's spelled. So Sidiarius is C Seed Aretes. Seed Aretes. Okay, I wasn't that far off. So hooray for me. Uh, <laughs> now, if you guys look really closely, yeah. If I, if I put it, if you look right on the bottom, there's like those little white hairs, like they have at. Um, uh, on the silver needle, and that is all over. Like, even in the bud, you can see it barely. But it's a very, very soft plant. Um, yeah, it, it, exactly. That's what it is. It's a very, it's a furry tea. And it's really, really soft, really hearty and wholesome. So I'm having some really high expectations of this. It's going to be a very interesting, uh, a very interesting tea. I... I was not expecting this. I was expecting it to be processed more. Um, but let's go ahead and pour this out. There we go. I'm going to brew this um, as a regular herbal tea. Now, I was reading up on the instructions just to be sure. Amber, welcome! Because... Like I said, I've never dealt with a tea like this before. Uh, this is brand new territory. But um, in this case, what was that? <laughs> it, that's too big of a chunk. I can't read it all. It says uh, to see more. I, I, I can't tap it. Uh, but it says to grow at high altitudes with little or no soil, rocks, 2, 5, 10, 11. Yeah, I, I can't read the rest of that. But yeah, like that, that's what they were talking about on the website. They were talking about the, the cultivation of it. Um, I didn't read too much into it because um, I had like I had very little prep time before that. Uh, you want to see the flower again? Sure. Uh, let me open up the the bag again. Ooh, it's stuck in there. Urgh. Did I put it in right? No, I put it in wrong. Doggone it. <laughs> I did this to myself. I put my uh, my box upside down. There we go. I'm going to have to mark the top so I know <laughs> which way to open it. Because the thing that I was trying to avoid, I would have done just now. Okay, there we go. Oh, let me pull out one of the buds. I'm not seeing any buds here. Uh... There we go. Or I'm going to try to hold on to this as best as I can, but it's like teeny tiny. I think there's no... Um, so, oh, so, okay, so it's got more medicinal purposes, like preventing cold, flu, and allergies, which is really great. It's It seems like it's multi-purpose. Now, you see this has very... Uh, usually has honey or lemon in it. I should check that out. Well, you know, after, I've already pre-sweetened my pot. Um, but yeah, you can see it's, it's very multicolored here. You have a lot of, uh, yellows at the top. It's a little bit out of focus, but it's yellow at the top and green on the sides. So it's a, it's a very, it's an actual flower that you're drinking. Uh, the side, tea side, do you pronounce the tea? Um, or do you just, is the tea silent on tea side? Because I know that uh, some places you could call it Psy. 
and you know nobody would know the difference. I want the actual pronunciation on this one. But yeah, it's going to be a very chunky T. And uh, eight thirteen. I want to make sure I'm keeping an eye on the uh, on the clock. Now this one, since you can brew it between five and ten minutes, I'm not really concerned about the time. Um, I just want to I just want to make sure I have some sense of. Um, oh, you do pronounce the T. Okay, great. So it's T Psy. Because I mean, in that kind of uh, situation, it looks like a silent T, but. I mean, if you're going to call it tea side, might as well call it tea for short, right? Ah. <laughs> That'll be easy for me to say. So I'll go, I'm, I'm going to go to Greece one day and be like, hey, can I have some tea side? So they'll think that I'm, like, native. Because <laughs> I can say one word in tea, uh, in, in Greek. <laughs> anyway. Was I could brew stuff at different times to taste the difference. Um, I could. Had I thought of that before, I would have been more prepared. But um, no, no, it's not T Sai. It's T Sai. Am I am I over pronouncing the T? So I want to make sure that I'm doing. It. Oh, don't. Well, then don't tell me that the T is not silent. <laughs> so it's just Sai. I'm 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 already failing my Greek lessons here. I I'm just like <laughs> All I know is uh is uh what's oh I I'm gyro or is it gyro? Tell me, gyro or gyro? Like I'm sure everybody asks you that. Oh, it's stiff. So it's sty? Sty? I don't know. <laughs> Cause I, I I don't know how to pronounce a stiff T, so is it oh sty okay so it's sty all right okay so I I'm, I'm one step closer to fooling the entire country of Greece into thinking that I am actually a native, so we, we, we're getting there. Next year I shall be their president. <laughs> Autocorrect would come in handy, for sure. So we're going to go with sty for now. Because, I mean, it's weird because it says T-S-A-I, but it's pronounced S-T-I-G-H. So that's kind of what's throwing me off. I don't know. I mean, I, I, I know absolutely nothing about the Greek language, so I'm not even going to pretend. Yeah, it's it's time for reading Rainbow for sure. I'm going <laughs> to be like, butterfly in the sky. I got something in my eye. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway. <laughs> I had it right with Psy. So then why are you... <laughs> All right, so it's... Sty Is it Psy with the T? Stiff Psy. I had it right with Psy. Because now, now, now you're throwing me off here. I'm going to fail, and I'll never be the president of Greece. And it's all going to be your fault. Oh, your phone is auto-correcting on you. Okay, so I am saying it right when I say sty. That's that's what I'm hoping for here. Still something in my eye. There's a sty in my eye. <laughs> oh, this is taking me to wonderful places. <laughs> anyway, so uh, back to the texture. I find the texture very, very interesting. Because it's extremely uh, soft, and it has like a bit of a sheen on the leaf. Um, it's a it's a really long leaf tea, and that usually indicates a very full flavor. Uh, so I'm I'm really excited to see how this goes. Um, oh, you know what? I didn't even I didn't even stop to smell it. I didn't bother. So let's go ahead and do this now because I still have some. Uh, some time to kill. Hey Takara, welcome. Ooh, I just dropped three leaves. That's not good. But I can use it as a uh, as an example. So this is going to be my sample tea when I want to uh, look at it again. It's not going to go to waste. Ooh, that is really interesting. It's a very soft green kind of uh, scent to it. 
but it's got like a very floral a little bit of lemon in it Ooh, that is really really nice i i'm loving this already it's it's kind of like you're laying in the field very robust very robust really I'm gonna have to find a place that uh, that sells this. I actually bought this out of. Um, I went to the the Field Museum, and they had a uh, they had a Greek. Um, they had a, 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 a well, not a Greek, but a, a Mediterranean exhibit, and so they have like a, a bunch of they have like a, a they have like a, a, they had a bunch of like souvenirs from the uh from the region uh kind of like lemongrass yeah but it's it's actually a stronger um well i don't want to say it's a stronger lemon scent um but more of a well-rounded lemon scent if that makes any sense like it's not overpoweringly strong but it smells like it uh like it envelops the the air around you um, it's, it's hard to, it, it's, it's strong, but soft, I guess. It's a furry tea, Yeti. <laughs> that, that's a good one. I like that. But yeah, that, thanks for uh, getting me back on track, Shanna. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it was from the gift shop at the exhibit. And like this already, I'm just the smell of it is really, it's really taking me places. Like I, I'm going to enjoy this one. I know for sure. Okay, so it's uh, 8, 9, oh, 8, 20. So I've already had this in here for seven minutes. I'm going to go ahead and pull this out. Because I don't want to... I'm sure you can't oversteep it. But I'm going to play it safe here. This is going to be a very strong steep. Because it's on the closer side of, um, of 10 minutes. Oh, wow. This is something interesting. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show it to you guys in just a second but there is a visual change that I was not expecting there we go um I, I did it at uh, 212 degrees I don't think that uh, that I mentioned it but I am now <laughs> okay so here is the change that I was expecting uh, well I wasn't expecting this but you can see there's a huge difference in the um, in the size, what it was and what it is now. There, it it grew f visually larger, like that piece that I had before that I put in at the top. It grew like a lot, and usually when you put in uh, pieces that are already uh, pretty big. It doesn't grow much more because it's already fully extended. Um, but because I'm assuming the um, the stalks are really thick, uh, they absorbed a lot more water, and so it was able to pull everything out. So it can handle a lot more. Oh, check that out! It's it's actually looks like it's blooming. That is absolutely beautiful. I love it. So you're saying your father used to drink mountain tea, and there's a company uh, in New York that has brought the tea as iced tea to America. That's interesting. I don't know how it tastes yet, but I would love to see how it tastes when it's uh, when it's iced, because it's got a very a very soft smell, and so that would usually indicate a um, a sweeter kind of taste to it. So. I'd be interested in, uh, in in tasting it iced as well. I have enough to do it. There's how many? Fifty six grams. Yeah, that's that's enough to to brew this several different ways. I want to experiment with this more. Now, you can see. Well, it's kind of hard to gauge the the size because it's a bit lopsided, but. Compared to what it was before, you can see there's a sizable difference. Like, it almost looks like broccoli. Yeah, that is, like, really... 
it's it's visually a beautiful tea and i i'm i'm very impressed with this so far okay great yeah yeah go ahead and send that to me um i'm gonna have to copy and paste that or you can just send it to me um by instant messenger later and i'll uh, I'll, I'll look into it because i have not seen uh greek tea anywhere here and you know i mean it never even occurred to me that uh that there would be a a, a tea specific to the mediterranean region because uh, normally when you think about tea, you think about China, you think about Japan, England, uh, India, and even even England. It's not native to England. It had to be brought overseas. So, you know, for something like this, it's you don't you don't think about it until it's presented to you. So, this is going to be a very uh, it, this is like a wonderful experience. This is the best kind of way to to start a new year. You know, with something that's innovative with uh with with a lot of interest brewing but i'm gonna put this down for a second because i want to get this tea uh i want to start drinking this tea <laughs> it's it's gonna be a, a really great uh experience i'm gonna go ahead and pull this up Ooh, it's heavy as usual all right now check that out Oh yeah, I, I saw it did pop up, so I, I, I got it, thanks. Ooh, my fingers are hot. <laughs> it's burning. Ow, ow, ow. But check out how green that is. It is a very, very uh, green to almost emerald when it's, pour when it's pouring out. It's not as green as, as matcha, but... It's still kind of yellowish, but while it's pouring out, uh, yeah, I'm going to need an oven mitt for sure. It's so hard to, to, to grab onto, but check out that, 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 that tea. It's really green and almost golden. It's on the side of, um, yes, yes, yes. I forgot to mention that it's, uh, it, it, I read that it's called shepherd's tea, um, because of the way that it was, I don't want to call it cultivated because that, that gives it the image that um, the entire industry is done like that. But uh, it became uh, it became known for it because uh, of the way that it was picked. Um, I, I promise you I did do a little bit of homework. <laughs> but um, I, I'm, it, I'm just so excited about talking about it that I, like the facts that I was checking was um, escaping me for the moment. Uh, yeah, it does look a little bit like apple juice. Um, not as brown as apple juice, at least not from what I see. Uh, the camera doesn't do it justice, but it's, it's more on the golden side. Hey, Ben, welcome! Um, this is actually not an herbal tea per se. It's more like a plant. I'm going to show you right now. Um, this is, it's a Greek tea, uh, similar to Silver Needle, but whoops, I almost dropped it. So we see over here, it was showing better before. You can almost see the, uh, the white hairs, but it's a very, very soft plant, very, very extended. And you're actually drinking the, the flower. I'm trying to hold on to this because it's so hard so small but yeah check it out that is a very very beautiful bud right there and the leaf itself i i've you know what? let me try to open it because it looks like I, I might be able to get it open Ooh, let me put this down okay i'm going to try to open it carefully because it's it's still dry whoops i don't want to crack it too much but it seems like i'm failing ah okay Oh, it looks like it's in pretty good shape. I was able to spare it. <laughs> but, oh, doggone it, it closed on itself. Ah, there we go. Okay. So you can see it's a very shapely leaf. It's really uh, wide. It's kind of thick, actually. Like, it, it's it's almost like, a, uh, like an aloe kind of thing, but not quite. Um, I, succulents, that's the word. 
it's almost like a succulent. Uh, what was that, Charlie? Uh, get it? Oh, you get it from your local Greek stores. There is a um, there's like a Greek town here. Uh, I was there. I, I, I was there once when I first moved here. I gotta go back to see if they have this kind of tea. Maybe I'll luck out. I don't know. I definitely want to get more though. But yeah, check out this leaf. It's really, really beautiful. Very uh, vibrantly colored. Um, it's on the camera. It looks a little bit white. Um, let me see if I can get reflection better. Eh. The the color shows up better uh, in person. But it's a very, very pale green to 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 white um, because of the because of the tiny hairs on it. But going back to your question, I didn't forget uh, Ben. The name of the the name of the plant was Sideritis. Uh, I forgot how you pronounced it. Sideritis or side? No, Sideritis. Yeah. It's the Ciderites genus, also known as the shepherd's tea. So, <laughs> the moment I've been waiting for, I don't know about you guys, but I'm going to go ahead and drink right now because this thing has been, like, on the, uh, on the verge of it from the beginning. Like, I have been dying, but let's see. Mm. Okay, so, a cedar, seed air, reetis, cedar air, blah. Cedarites. There we go. We'll, we'll, we'll go with that. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Okay, so... When it's... When it's an actual tea, when it's wet... Cedarites. Yeah, that, that works. Let's, let's see if they have that, because... You never know. If they do have it at Mariano's, let me know. Because I do know where that is, at least. Um, if not, I'll just try Halstead. Or wherever Greek town is, I don't know. I'm still kind of new here, <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, um, you when it's wet, you kind of lose a bit of the uh, of the lemon scent to it. Uh, let me see what the leaves themselves smell like first. So it becomes more perfumey. You still smell kind of the lemon. But it gives way to more of of an overall fragrance. Like it, it's hard to it's hard to describe because it loses the the lemon, which is tangible, and it's replaced by something softer. It's kind of almost like a fabric softener. It's very like I would put this in my laundry if you know if, if they had something like that. So it's a really, really soft, uh, almost textured, textured smell. And then you get more of that. It's stronger when it's the, the, the tea versus when it's the, the wet leaf. But it's still, it's still really nice. Okay, okay, enough stalling because <laughs> I'm still, I still have a whole cup. I haven't even sipped this yet. All right. Oh, oh, that is nice. <laughs> well, you don't want to drink fabric softener, but sometimes you're kind of tempted. <laughs> anyway, this has, oh my God, this is, this is beautiful. It's more of a, if you guys know what jasmine tea tastes like, it's really, really similar to that. It's a really soft and fragrant um, it's really, oh, how do I describe it? Um, it's perfumey. It's very scented, very wholesome, very soft. I love this. This is like, wow. And there's still something in my eye. <laughs> it's still bothering me. You see, Charlie, you put that sty in my eye. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, that's it. Only, only me. You know, I mean... I, I gotta keep things fresh, you know what I'm saying? Fresh like a laundry smell. Mm. But yeah, it's, 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 very, it's very similar to Jasmine. If I can find more of this, it's... 
this is like a really great find for me. Like you have no idea. Jasmine is like my top go to tea for like relaxation and um just an overall uh Sir Mac Mart that well, okay, great. Sir Mac, there's a Sir Mac actually down the street from me. So I'm gonna check that out for sure. Once I run out of this, <laughs> I'm gonna have to run down there and be like, tell me you have some shepherd's tea. But <laughs> They'll be going to look at me like, whoa? That's okay, I'm used to getting that look. Anyway, but yeah, this is very similar to uh, to Jasmine. It's very fragrant. Um, not very floral in the traditional sense. Um, I got it actually at the Field Museum where they had the, uh, the Mediterranean exhibit. Um, at the gift shop. Like right at the end of it, I walked out. They had, this was the only box that they had. And I was like... I gotta try that. I gotta stream it. I'm gonna bring my people some good stuff. And that's what I'm bringing to you guys. This is actually... Have a good night, Mickerdoodles. Um, this is actually, like, very surprising. I was not expecting uh, this kind of flavor because visually it's a very green tea. So I was thinking more along the lines of grass. Um, you know, like, like the smell of, of, of a lawn. But this, like, I, you, you can see the flowers, so I was thinking it would have uh, a little bit of a floral, uh, a floral petal kind of taste. But it's a stronger tea than than I imagined. Like, it's not an overpoweringly green tea. It's barely green at all. It's very herbal. It's very robust and very sweet. Um, and you know, this is like. A diamond in the rough. I was not expecting this kind of uh, this kind of experience. So kudos to you, Marie and uh, Maria, and all of your uh, Greek friends and family in the entire nation. This is oh, the entire country. This is oh, they really outdid themselves. Mm. Now, Ma, I, I don't remember. I don't know if you remember how re remember vividly how the uh, the jasmine <clears throat> tasted that night. But um, if you picture that with kind of the sensation of fresh, um, freshly dried, uh, fresh. How do I put it? Like I, I, I'm gonna compare it to laundry again. Uh, yes. I <laughs> I I was always glad I did have a good time that day, despite the tea. Uh, whether, well, whether I would have found the tea or not. But I'm glad that I... Because I, I didn't fight myself too much. Normally I sit there like, should I or shouldn't I? Should I? Yeah, this time I said, should I? Okay, yes. It's going to be a good thing. <laughs> and it turned out to be a great thing. This is going to be like... This is moving right up the uh not dirty towels out of the <laughs> out of the uh out of the laundry out of the dryer fresh towels in your face motorboating <laughs> kind of good taste to the <laughs> Carmen welcome to the freshness of it all like if I could motorboat some freshly dried towels I totally would <laughs> And that was the one thing I never thought I would say when I woke up this morning. <laughs> okay, yeah, I, I totally... Uh, <laughs> I'm going to need a moment. I can't, I can't even hold my tea. Hold on. <laughs> oh, the visualizations. That's going to stick with me tonight. <laughs> okay. Anyway, God help me, this is going on YouTube and it's going to be, it's going to be, it, it, it's going to be there forever, I swear. And this is going to come back to haunt me one day in the far, far future. Yes, it's making me high again. And this time, uh, I don't think that euphoria is supposed to be a, uh, a side effect, but you never know. <laughs> I'm drinking the side air retees. Side air plant. 
But actually, since uh, this is mountain tea, the mountain tea, you have to go high for it. So there you go. It's a high mountain tea. <laughs> yeah, that's that that explains it all. It's because it's picked out of the higher uh, altitudes. That That's my explanation and I'm sticking to it. I don't know. Is is weed legal in uh, in Greece? Well, I, well, you know where to go for Greek food, I'm sure. Yeah, this is this is the this is the uh, what is it called the? Uh, what do they call it the? Uh, gah! Now I'm having problems. I'm having problems remembering. Remember what is it? The oh brain fart. What they call it like the uh what one of the nicknames for weed, I forget. But apparently it's going to my head, so don't mind me, it'll come back to me uh <laughs> to me eventually. Mm. Oh my computer's falling asleep. <laughs> what? It's 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 true. This is some good stuff though. I think it's a combination. Uh Nicole, welcome! You're you're missing out on me getting high on this tea. This stuff is like really really good, and I'm really really happy. I'm sure it's not an effect for uh, it's not a euphoric effect, I think. But <laughs> it wouldn't be the first time I made a fool of myself on camera. Not by uh, not by a long shot. But this stuff, it's actually like I feel it's it's uplifting. And normally that's just a side effect of um, fragrant teas. In general, like it calms you, it, it cools your nerves, but also it makes you happy, and it, it keeps um, it keeps you vibrant. And I, I, I think that there's a nice balance going on here, where you have um, you have an uplifting of uh, of your spirit, and it's like affecting your emotions, but it's not making me hyper in any sense. You know, it's just being and it's putting me in a good mood i mean not that i'm usually in a bad mood but um it's like i feel like there's a difference uh from when i started this tea uh this stream than when i'm w while i'm doing it like i think it's just because i'm in a good mood and this is enhancing it because i mean it's it's a very pleasant surprise I'm not gonna lie, like this is this is something that I was not expecting. I really am. Like I, I'm usually in a pretty good mood uh throughout all of my streams, but this one's got me bouncing off the walls a little bit. Cause I mean it's like it's it's really being very um how do I put this? It's 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 uplifting. You know, I mean it's I don't know how else how else to describe it, but I'm gonna take Shanna's uh, Shanna's advice, sweeten it with a little bit of honey. Now I've watered this honey down because um, it was getting a little bit uh, because my my room is a little bit cold. It was hardening up, so I diluted it, and now I'm gonna put a little bit in there. See how that affects the taste. And since it's already liquefied, I don't have to stir it too long. But yeah, let's see how it goes. So this is with uh, honey and stevia. I don't even think it needed the stevia. Oh, that is a beautiful thing. It's... The honey actually... It makes it more, uh, more full flavored. It's enhancing the tea as a whole. Um, you get that honey flavor, but by the same token, it's it's really making the entire experience more vibrant. And this is something that I'm absolutely like hooked on. Um, I think next time I make this, I'm gonna leave the stevia out and I'm just gonna use the honey because this this is a very like, like sometimes honey sweetens it, other times it uh, complements it, and in this case, it's complementing the uh, the tea rather than um, hiding it 
or sweetening it so that it's it's not really recognizable. Um, this actually this actually mixes well with the lemony portion of it. Like it, it brings out the lemony part uh, a little bit more. Um, Nicole, welcome. I mean, uh, Michelle, I keep, I, I know I, I tried to, uh, I try to call you a different name because there's usually one Nicole and one Michelle. And now <laughs> the previous Michelle has left, but the Nicole is here. So you have to change your name to something more, uh, more different so that, <laughs> you know, I'm talking to you, but yeah, I'm going to call you Michelle because the first Michelle is already gone. <laughs> you see how hard it is to keep track? Uh, tonight's blend, just so you know, just to catch you up, is uh, the Greek Mountain Tea. Uh, it's Ciderites. That's the... I, I'm getting used to saying it. Cider, Ciderites. It's from Greece. Thank you, Charlie. <laughs> Our uh, resident equal... Well, no, no. I mean, that's why I called you, Nicole, because I was trying to avoid calling you Michelle. And I remembered that Michelle had left, but the other Nicole is here. So it's kind of throwing me off. But anyway, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm, I'm trying to differentiate you so that you know I'm addressing you. I don't mean to like catch you off guard, but that was my purpose. Anyway, I mean, I, I should just call you Dev. Cause that that would that would be so much easier for all three of us, but <laughs> well, actually all four if Michelle was here. But you know, I don't like making things easy for anybody. I'm a pain in the butt. But anyway, yeah, it comes from the cider cider uh, plant, and it's a very. Um, I know you don't care. You're just messing with me. Well, I have to call Nicole by her radio name, and that's just gonna throw that's just gonna throw me off completely. Cause then nobody's named anything, and I'm gonna be sitting here th just making random sounds when I address people. I'd be like, "Hey, blah, 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 welcome!" You know, it's it's not gonna work out. <laughs> Robalabu, hey, nice to see you. But yeah, anyway, Dev, <laughs> it's a uh, it's uh, a tea from Greece, and. Hey you, that'll work. That works for everybody. Check out this leaf. It's a really long, um, expanded leaf here. I had to actually open it up a bit, um, but yeah, it's a long. It, it's a long leaf. Um, it's got. Uh, you can't really see it, but it's got like little white hairs. <gasps> oh, excuse me. That makes it really, really soft, and really like it, it's. A little bit like a... It's similar to a succulent. And I'm really enjoying this taste. It's very fragrant. Very... Uh, almost perfumey. And it's very similar to jasmine tea. So I think you're all caught up here. And the rest of the time I'm just going nuts. But... <laughs> anyway. So you said the, the honey is what used to be used to, to sweeten a tea? Oh yeah, absolutely. I can see why. The honey is very complimentary to it. Um, I'm using orange blossom honey, actually. So there's a slight uh, tinge of the um, of the the, the orange kind of tang to it. It's not very strong, but it complements the 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 lemony part well. And I think that that's what I'm tasting. So it might just be that I'm drinking the specifically orange blossom honey versus uh, just regular honey that you would get uh, in the supermarket. Oh, but it's, ah, oh, it's such a, this, I mean, I want to venture and say that this is a very beautiful tasting tea. Like, it, it just, it just tastes beautiful. And I know that beauty is subjective, but, I mean, like, like that's, that's the, the adjective that comes to mind when I drink it, because it's really, really... It, it's it coats your tongue in a sweet sensation of um, perfume and really really soft texture. 
Like, I wish that I could show you guys what my tongue feels like right now. Um, I mean, it's, it's, it's not, it's really hard to describe because this isn't something that you can put into a physical form. Like if I say it tastes like a cheeseburger, it tastes like a cheeseburger. Like you see the cheeseburger, you smell the cheeseburger, you felt the cheeseburger. If you're not vegetarian or vegan, you've tasted a cheeseburger. Like that's something tangible. But when I say that it tastes like fresh laundry or it smells perfumey, it's very, very soft coating, it's, it gives a more sensual uh, kind of feeling to it rather than a physical and very, like a, like a tangible sense. It's more sensual than tangible. <laughs> hey, everybody loves fresh laundry. Well, most everybody, I think. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to leave it at that. I want to know how this is how this is um prepared though. You no you're not going to chew on a towel. What you do is you take a freshly uh washed towel, you dip it in water, then you squeeze it and you just drink the water out of it. That's how it works. <laughs> I'm going to totally motorboat the cup. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, but anyway, I want to look to see how it's processed because it's not, it doesn't look like it's, it's baked, uh, in any way. Uh, and it doesn't feel like, um, like it's dried for very long. So I'm thinking that they probably, there's very, very little process to it. Like this tastes like it's fresh off the leaf. Well, technically it is the leaf. But <laughs> it's um, it's like they just chopped it, dried it out for a couple of hours, packaged it up, and, and sent it out. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it tastes like. It tastes like there's very little uh, effort put into it. It's like, well, I don't want to say effort on the... Um, uh, on the processing side, it doesn't taste processed at all. Like, it's picked, dried, uh, packaged, and shipped. And that makes it uh, very... It, it's got a really, really fresh taste to it. Uh, you think that that's it? Like, oh, oh Wiki, Wikipedia. Well, I'm going to go with Wikipedia on this because it tastes like it's fresh off the leaf. And you can't go wrong with it. I think that it's a very... This is an all-natural tea. And it's organic. So... If that's important to you guys, this is a really uh, a, a really great uh, a really great tea. I'm gonna see. I'm sure they have a uh, a website somewhere after the stream. I'm gonna post it uh, like I usually do. Um, if I'm not able to find it, I'll do my best. I'll just I'll just re uh, repost the the link that uh, that Chally got me. So all's good. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, they 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 say it's packed with antioxidants. Uh, is there a website on the box? I was looking for one. I didn't see one offhand, um, but we'll see. I'm sure there is. Like, if anything else, I have what was it, Crino, uh, Crinos. So that's the name of it. I could always look that up online and and see where it takes me. But yeah, this is a really like. I highly, highly recommend this. Because this is some good stuff. Oh yeah. I've had, I've had Greek food and it's, it's delicious and it's, it's healthy. Mmm. Oh my god, this is so good. <laughs> like, it's putting me... Like, it's not caffeinated, by the way. So, this is going to be good for any time of the day, um, unless you unless you rely on a caffeine boost in the morning. But otherwise, like, I cannot, I cannot say anything uh, bad about it. Because it's, this is the kind of tea that I would drink on a regular basis. Um, high stress day, you can see what it's done for my mood. So, 
<laughs> I am totally going to 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 do something with this. As a matter of fact, man, I just realized I had my uh, my canister here yesterday. I should have I should have waited and um, and filled it up with this instead. But it's already at work. Say la vie. I'll figure something out. Uh, Greek food here is Americanized. Yeah, that's that's true. Um, Chally, you'd be the expert. So, is the the Greek food here Americanized or is it authentic? I mean, I'm sure that what you eat at home is authentic, but generally, I'd have no idea how to pick it out in a uh, out of a lineup. So, go ahead, Chally, take it away. I'm gonna sit here and drink this amazing tea. I can almost uh, hear Chally tapping away. He's like, "Well, now my now is my time to shine." Tap it, 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 tap it. Anyway, so in the meantime, that's it. <laughs> Just that five, six words, like, at home it's definitely authentic. <laughs> Come on, you can do better than that. This is your time to shine. <laughs> oh, man, but, uh, like, in the meantime, this is, uh, it's so good. It's like, more is coming. Okay, good, good. Keep it up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep talking about, uh, about the tea while you do that. Um, but... I forgot my I forgot my train of thought. <laughs> what was I saying? Um, but yeah, this has like a really really fresh taste to it. Um, oh yeah, it's not caffeinated. Um, jasmine tea is caffeinated, not a whole lot by by uh, general standards, but it does have caffeine in it. Um, this is decaf. Uh, and it's it's absolutely uh it, it's absolutely amazing like i'm gonna i can't say that enough uh Greek stores are authentic there is a Greek fast food place here uh called the Greek lady. I thought you were the Greek lady <laughs> and she has authentic well whenever I get to uh to philly we're gonna have to go and angel's not here, but angel. It, when when whenever you see this, uh, just make some room on your couch because one of these days I'm gonna have to uh, I'm gonna have to go for a visit. Uh, if I go to Greek festivals, they are authentic. Uh, most fe festivals are at churches. Volunteers are older Greek women who are cooking the food, so it is authentic. That sounds amazing. I, you guys know, I'm a foodie. I love trying different foods. I have had Greek food before, um, but I'm not sure how to how it compares to authentic Greek food. Uh, I'm sure, like, because you know, you go to Greek restaurants in New York, you get a lot of um, you get a lot of authentic restaurants. So I'm sure I've had something that's that's close. Uh, there, if there there is a Greek fest, yeah, then that's let's definitely look into that. Hopefully, it's during the warm weather. Um, there are some Americanized versions of food, but not that much here. Okay, great. So it's safe to say that whenever I do get down to uh, Philadelphia one of these days, I'll go for some uh, Philly cheesesteak. That's number one. Get some Greek food. Then some Spanish food from uh, from Angel. I'm sure he'll be happy to cook for me because he hasn't seen me. See, I'm, I'm already vol volunteering him to cook. So now he has to do it because that's just the way things are. Sorry, Angel. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so you guys have any uh, questions or comments or anything you want to talk about? I still have a little over half a cup to go. Um, I'm savoring this. You guys know that when I really, really love a tea, it takes forever for me to drink it because I'm savoring every sip. And that's this tea right here. So go ahead, throw some at me. Oh, I love this. Desserts. Oh, right on schedule. <laughs> um... 
This one's a hard one to classify. I would go with maybe some pie. Maybe I'm thinking pumpkin pie might complement this pretty well. Um, cookies. What kind of cookie is... Because I know that you love those cookie questions. Uh, what kind of cookie? Uh, I would go with a lemon cookie for this one. Like, uh, the kind of lemon cookie that's light tasting. Um, maybe even, what's that, uh, uh, not toffee, what's, what's the, 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 meringue? Is it meringue? Baklava would, yeah. <laughs> I, I think that they would go very well together. Uh, Taste of Greek Town is in August? Great. That's nice and hot, and I'm down for it. But yeah, baklava, oh man, I haven't had baklava in a while now that I think about it. Because it's, it's, it's got like that, that kind of, uh, I don't want to say cinnamony, but like a, like a honey cinnamon uh, nutmeg cupcakes. Absolutely, well depending on the cupcake. Um, cupcake, I don't want to go with, with chocolate. Chocolate might be a little bit, uh, a little bit strong. I would... Probably go with an angel food cupcake. Yeah, delicious. Oh, I love, I love baklava. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's it's been years since I've had it. Um, yeah, that's that's what I'm talking about. The uh, like like the light the lightness of it, I really like it, and I think it would go well with this. Are topless? Who's topless? No. <laughs> Not on my stream. Uh-oh. -uh. <laughs> That's gonna be me. Topless stream. Woo! Show us your teats! <laughs> like, woo! Spring break! Woo! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Visualization. The visualization. <laughs> oh yeah, I just went off the deep end. Don't mind me. <laughs> oh, don't worry, Pam. When we go to Philadelphia, you're invited. You can come and uh, we'll we'll eat a gigantic. Is it a sheet? Of baklava or a pan? I don't know how it's made. Um, I know it's baked, so it might be on a, on a cookie sheet or a pan or something. I, I we'll we'll eat however <laughs> however it's made. We'll just say bring out the entire thing, and we'll chow down. The cush of tea. What are you scared of? Oh, it's a pan, so we'll say bring out a whole pan of baklava. You're scared of how my uh, my tea is gonna change you. <laughs> can it be ordered by the pan? Cause I, I'm sure we can we can we can do something with that. Mm. Right, there we go. <laughs> I have to. I have to. I'm I'm trying so hard to resist. Uh, do they make? Pot tea? What do you mean? You have to go pot tea? It's down the hall to the right. <laughs> Honey walnuts phyllo dough, I'm assuming. Phyllo dough is like that flaky. I don't know. I'm not a baker. And rose water. That sounds easy enough. I don't want to... <laughs> I'm trying so hard to resist. But it's not working. Oh, it's so good. Yeah. The flaky dough, I really love, uh, love the texture of baklava. 
Mary Jane. Oh, Wacky Tabacky. That's what I was trying to remember before. The Wacky Tabacky. <laughs> that's that's what this stuff is. Woo! Wacky Tabacky. <laughs> what is that? Loku Mandy's? Yeah. Definitely. I can imagine lots and lots of butter. Oh, that sounds amazing. See, Charlie, this was your stream. <laughs> we are covering all of our Greek bases. The only thing that we're missing is, like, philosophy. So, <laughs> if you want to talk about Aristotle, we can do that, too. <laughs> or, um... All the all the Greek philosophers are now escaping me because the pressure's on. Uh, I haven't thought about Greek philosophy in a long time. But, c'est la vie. Oh, that sounds amazing. I've never had it straight out of the oven. I've had it, like, in a, in a diner. Uh, it's been pulled out, cooled, and served um, with a side of ice cream. That's some good stuff. Too ma I know that, <laughs> and the only thing that's come to mind is Aristotle. Like I can talk about Greek philosophy when there's uh, no pressure on, but now it's like now I can not I can I so Sophocles. Um, don't ask me what they were talking about because I cannot remember for the for the life of me. Uh, Aristotle and and I don't know, but yeah, we 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 mentioned it. So we'll cover. We'll we'll just check that off as to uh, covering all of our bases. Yeah, you should revive the baking days. I say, gather around, pull all your family out from wherever they are, shove them in the kitchen, and bake. That is a good way to spend the winter, because it is. I, I don't know how cold it is out there, but it is freezing out here. So, yeah, bake time. Turn on that oven, work up a sweat. That's what I'm all about. Mm. Oh, this is so good. Hippocrates. Yes. And the Hippocratic Oath. Because I'm a hypocrite. <laughs> no. All right. Anyway, <laughs> we're running. I'm, I'm running low on tea, and we're running low on time. So, guys, got any uh, last questions? Any uh, comments that you want to make while I finish up this puppy? Oh man, thinking about making cookies all day. Yes, I think that this is a sign. And I think that you get your kids, you get your grandkids, you shove them all in the kitchen, in the, in the kitchen, and you all group make cookies. That is your assignment for this weekend. Uh, so that being said, anybody else have uh, anything else before before I close out? Because my tea is done, and I swear, like if I keep talking about it, I'm gonna want to make another pot, and that's not something I can handle right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is, oh lordy, this is so good. So, anyway, I guess I'm going to go ahead and uh, close everything out. Thank you guys once again for joining me. This has been a very memorable experience. Um, I'll be coming in back next week. I don't know which tea I'm going to be doing yet. We'll see. Um, but in the meantime, on the 19th, uh, I may or may not be streaming because uh, we have a uh, thanks, Teresa. We have a, um, a a work event, so I may or may not stream that day. We'll see. Uh, in the meantime, thank you, Charlie, for joining us and uh, sharing your 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 knowledge of Greek uh, food and tea and everything uh, that we needed you for today. I'm so grateful you showed up. Um, have a good night. Good night, Ma. And I'll see you guys next week with something 
with a surprise because I don't even know what it is. All right. Bye, everyone.